are you wondering if the battery life actually on the Sony ZV-1 is any good? So actually I have some very bad news for you. The battery life on this camera is absolutely terrible. So when you actually check the Sony website, they claim that this uh, camera uh, can last for around uh, 45 minutes in video recording mode. Of course that uh, doesn't sound very good. But uh, when I'm actually using this camera and when I'm actually using uh, 4K, shooting in 4K as you really should on this camera as it's mean for that, I find I barely get a uh, half an hour so uh, before it's pretty much dead. So really a uh, 4K video expect to get only 30 minutes from this Sony uh, camera basically and as you can see it uses absolutely absolutely tiny battery. So on the battery itself you can see it has got extremely small capacity as well. So that pretty much explain the terrible runtime on this camera. So if you actually need a camera that can last for quite a long time, I wouldn't suggest this camera. Uh, instead, I would maybe suggest you the ZV-E10 camera. So as you can see, that camera actually has uh, got quite decent battery and actually, uh, yeah, as these batteries, the third party ones, at least for the Sony cameras, uh, come in extremely huge capacities. On this camera I can easily get uh, one hour. Again, they claim that you can get like uh, 80 minutes maybe, uh, but I find again in 4K you are getting maybe a bit over one hour, whereas on this ZV-1 uh, only again uh, half an hour. Again, these are real life battery uh, basically estimates and not what Sony actually claims. So if you think you want to purchase this camera really also order a couple more of these batteries maybe go on ebay or amazon and purchase third party batteries they really are just as good really don't need to overpay for the sony original ones and when i'm actually recording with this camera uh, if i can i basically plug it in so you can actually uh, plug it in so it has got the micro usb cable basically but obviously you can basically run it uh, while it's charging and I find that to be actually pretty okay. In that usage case, I think this camera is pretty good. However, again, half an hour is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, good luck.